Hey guys, it is Julie here with JT Wealth. The month of May is upon us, so that means it's time for our monthly dividend video. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here and welcome to the month of May. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at five different dividend stocks that all have an ex-dividend this month. That means you won't have to wait long to start collecting that sweet passive income. Now, all of these stocks today have a different industry and a range of yields and all with a healthy payout ratio. So we're gonna take a quick look at these stocks, their dividend details, and of course, how the analysts weigh in on the stock's future. If you wanna see how the analysts weigh in for yourself, don't forget to download the Tip Ranks mobile app with a link in the description down below, plus some codes to get 10% off. Of course, just a reminder that I'm never here to tell you to buy or sell any specific stock, more to give you ideas to kickstart your own research. Make sure you're always doing your own due diligence and sticking with your investment plans and goals. Now jumping right into our dividend stocks for May. First on our list is Alliance Resource. Under the ticker ARLP, they have a market cap of $2.67 billion. Their stock has seen growth of about 23% this past year, but has been fairly flat this last quarter. Alliance Resource Partners produces and markets coal to United States utilities and industrial users. They are the second largest coal producer in the Eastern United States. They generate operating and royalty income from the production and marketing of that coal to major users, as well as royalty income from gas and mineral interests located in strategic producing regions across the United States. Alliance Resource pays a quarterly dividend, and their ex-dividend date is coming up in just a couple of days. They also have the highest dividend yield on our list today. That ex-dividend date is coming up on May 5th for a payment on May 15th. Their quarterly dividend of 70 cents per share works out to a current dividend yield of 9.33% and a payout ratio of 44%. Now, the company did have to stop their dividend back in 2020. You'll see a bit of a gap here, but they did reinstate it and have been growing it steadily ever since. Their most recent earnings report just came out yesterday on May 2nd, and the company did see some big year-over-year -year growth. Their earnings per share came in at $1.45, beating expectations by $0.18 cents per share, and revenue came in at $662 million. Now, they did miss by just $8 million, but grew over 43% year-over-year. Their CEO commented that despite natural gas prices being below what they projected at the start of the year, they remain optimistic that their 2023 financial results will be at record levels. Now, their stock doesn't seem to get much attention from Wall Street, as we currently only have two analyst ratings in the last couple of months. Both of those ratings come in with a buy and an average price target of $30 for an upside of 41%. We'll see if they reiterate those price targets following this recent quarterly report. Second on our list today is Sunoco. Their stock trades under the ticker SUN or SUN with a market cap of $4.6 billion. Currently priced at $46 per share, they have seen growth of 15% this past year, but are fairly flat the last couple of months. Sunoco is one of the largest independent fuel distributors within the United States. They provide motor fuel to convenience stores, independent dealers, commercial customers, and distributors in more than 33 states and growing. Their offerings range from branded and unbranded fuel to race fuels and specialty canned fuels, and from energy services to terminal operations. The company pays a quarterly dividend and has had over 10 years of stable distributions. And while they do have a bit of a higher payout ratio at 64%, they do have a pretty attractive yield. That quarterly dividend of 84 cents per share comes out to a dividend yield of 7.27%. Their next ex-dividend date is also coming up on May 5th, with a payment date of May 22nd. They also just reported quarterly earnings on May 2nd, and they had a notable earnings beat, and it was their first in a couple of quarters. They also increased their future guidance based on a recent acquisition. For their Q1, they reported earnings per share of $1.41, beating expectations by $0.18 cents per share, and revenue of $5.36 billion came in $350 million ahead of estimates. Now, this stock does get a bit more attention from Wall Street as we have five current ratings with a couple five-star analysts reiterating price targets within the last couple of weeks. Overall, the stock comes in as a strong buy based on four buys and one hold with a price target of $51, which would be an upside potential of over 10% from current prices. Our most recent ratings come 15 and 12 days ago from two five-star analysts with upsides of 10 to 15%. Number three on our list today, we're looking at MetLife. Now this one might be a bit more of a wild card, trading under the ticker MET, they're currently priced just shy of $60 per share. You can see here, we had some solid growth, but then they took a big dive here about last month following their earnings report. But many weigh in that this big dip could be a great opportunity for the long term. 
MetLife is a leading global provider of insurance, annuities, and employee benefit programs. They serve around 100 million customers worldwide and operate in 40 different countries. In the U.S., MetLife offers a variety of insurance and financial services products such as life, dental, disability, property and casualty, stable value annuities, and guaranteed interest to both individuals and groups. Their earnings report is coming out literally today in the after hours, so any minute now I do keep checking, and we are hoping for an earnings beat, as I did mention they missed on the last quarter, causing that big downwards movement in their stock. In the after hours today, analysts will be anticipating earnings per share of $1.83 compared to last year's $2.08. We can look down here and see that missed quarter back in February when they came in about $0.12 short of expectations, and that was the first miss in a while. MetLife recently raised their dividend by 4% and their ex-dividend date is coming up on May 8th. That May 8th ex-dividend will give you a payment date of June 14th. Their dividend is $0.52 cents per share on a quarterly basis for a dividend yield of 3.26% and a healthy payout ratio at 29%. Their stock currently comes in as a moderate buy based on nine current analyst ratings. That breaks down to six buy ratings and three holds. With an average price target of over $72, that would be an upside potential of 22%. Looking at our recent ratings here, we do have a couple of holds from about a month ago with still slight upsides, and all the rest double-digit upsides, so it seems that everyone's optimistic that they will bounce back. Fourth on our list is a company that is often deemed to be recession-resistant. That is Visa. Their stock trades under the ticker V, currently priced at $227 per share, with a huge market cap of nearly $480 billion. Their stock has seen growth of over 9% for the past year, fairly flat this last few months. Visa is a company that needs little to no introduction as they are known around the world for their payment processing. As a world leader in digital payments, they help facilitate transactions across more than 200 countries and territories. They have approximately $260 billion in total transactions and $14 trillion in total volume. Visa has been paying a dividend since their IPO in 2008, and while it might not be the most exciting one as far as high yields go, it is a very stable one. They pay a quarterly dividend of $0.45 cents per share for a dividend yield of 0.71% and a very low payout ratio of 20%. Their next ex-dividend date is May 11th for payment on June 1st. They recently reported their quarterly earnings back on April 25th where they came out with an easy earnings and revenue beat. Their earnings per share of $2.09 came in 10 cents ahead of analyst expectations and revenue of $8 billion beat by $210 million. Following this earnings beat, we had a ton of Wall Street analysts reiterating their price targets. Altogether, the Visa stock has 18 current analyst ratings. Coming in as a strong buy with 17 buy ratings and just one hold, their average price target comes in at $272 for growth potential of over 20%. And you can see just a ton of double-digit upside potentials over the last couple of weeks. On the low end, we do have our hold, but still an upside of over 5%. And last but certainly not least, just the latest ex-dividend date, we have Amgen. Trading under the ticker AMGN, their stock is priced at $235. They are up slightly this past year, nearly 5% after some ups and downs, but are down a couple percent over this last quarter. Amgen is one of the world's leading biotechnology companies. Amgen focuses on areas of high unmet medical need and leverages its expertise to strive for solutions that improve health outcomes and dramatically improve people's lives. They've been around since 1980 and have grown to be one of the world's leading independent biotechnology companies, reaching millions of patients around the globe. They have been paying their dividend since 2011 and have increased it consecutively for those 13 years. Their ex-dividend date is a bit later in the month on May 17th for a payment on June 8th. They pay a quarterly dividend of $2.13 per share for a dividend yield of 3.32% and a payout ratio of 45%. Back on April 27th, they did come out with a mixed earning report where they beat on earnings but missed on revenue. They reported earnings per share of $3.98, beating expectations, but revenue came in at $6.1 billion, did miss by just $140 million. And with that, we do have a bit more of a mixed opinion from Wall Street analysts. Overall, the stock comes in as a moderate buy based on six buys, six holds, and two sells, so a mixed bag of ratings there. The average price target is $260, but you can see a wide range of price targets over here. Looking at our detailed list, we see that mix of holds and sells. We have one sell rating with a downside of 21%, right next to a buy rating with an upside of 37%. 
So definitely a bit more of a mixed outlook for that one. But there we have our five dividend stocks for the month of May, all coming up with that X dividend nice and quick for you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, which of these jumps out and catches your eye, or what other stocks are some of your favorite dividend pairs. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Have a great night and I'll see you back here next time.